what's good Josh? your boy ross back at again with another video so i actually wanted to talk about this particular subject i've been seeing the discourse that's been happening on social media regarding jay uso losing the intercontinental championship this past monday night raw there are some people that understand why it happened and then there are a lot of people that are not happy with it and felt like it's a waste of time for him to have ever held the intercontinental championship if he was just gonna drop it you know relatively quickly is it i think it's maybe been not even four weeks if anything close to that possibly but here's the thing and i kind of want to break things down because i'm not saying you shouldn't feel entitled to that opinion if you felt like jay's title reign was you know in a sense pointless or it didn't have any meaning you're entitled to feel that way but i also want to put in this other perspective for some to potentially understand if you've been watching wrestling as long as i have you kind of have an idea where certain storylines are gonna go sometimes they surprise us for example when jay initially uh was going against braun breaker for the intercontinental championship and he actually won on that Monday Night Raw, I think it took a lot of us by surprise, including myself, because I honestly thought that Jay was going to lose there. But it took a lot of us by surprise. And when you really look back at that moment, they had planted the seeds of Jay pulling off the upset because Braun Breaker initially didn't take him seriously. He felt like he was just going to lose anyway. They had really been building up that story of jay trying to get his very first solo uh championship win in wwe so they had been planting the seeds and they actually paid off on it still surprised a lot of people great moment it was an awesome moment it'll be a moment that jay always remembers and i think a lot of us will remember too because you don't really see too many titles change that much on weekly television at that so it was a great moment but as soon as he won that i was like if they're not setting up something with him and Braun Breaker, most likely, I guess he will hold the title. But at the same time, I also felt like at some point, he's going to drop this title relatively soon. Will it be at Crown Jewel? Possibly. But it's going to most likely happen before we get to, um, to uh, Survivor Series for War Games. Because at the end of the day, they're not going to have him have championships. And I think the goal potentially for both teams, both, you know, the OG bloodline and the new bloodline is to strip all the gold from them and really have it be solely just on family. Like who's the better, who's the better bloodline to lead the bloodline and, you know, going forward, who's the superior version of the bloodline. And I think we're going to probably get a culmination of that, um relatively soon with i can see the tongans losing the tag titles as well relatively soon so but if you kind of had an idea you knew jay wasn't gonna hold the title on you just knew at some point he's gonna drop it before survivor series right um as soon as they started to bring braun breaker back into the fold and they made it very clear that he's gonna challenge him i knew he was losing Oh, that, that that was clear indication he was losing that match. You're not going to have Braun Breaker lose back-to-back -back matches, back-to-back -back championship matches. You just not, it's not happening. Not the way that they're booking him. And if you guys remember, some people felt like, oh, Braun Breaker was buried, which I hate when people do that because they lost a match. Some people feel like Braun Breaker was buried for even losing to Jay. So now the other side of that is now all of a sudden, oh man, Jay lost, man, what was the point? This was pointless, this this was a bad move. I get other people's opinions on it, but at the same time, you gotta look from a broader perspective. How are we gonna get Jay to get back into this whole bloodline situation? Honestly, Jay has been pretty much, he stayed away from it for the most part. The last time he was really somewhat involved was around WrestleMania season, but that was the whole point. He wanted to get away. He wanted to get out of Roman's shadow, right? Cool. So, of course, when Roman comes back, he's not just going to be sitting up there the happiest. Of course, when Jimmy comes back, he's not going to be the happiest to see them. Of course. 
He's going to keep his distance and that's it. As he should per character wise. So how would you get him to come back to the bloodline? Just with Jimmy asking every week, with Roman asking every week, it has to be a catalyst. And what better catalyst to get somebody that has nothing, he doesn't want anything to do with the bloodline stuff, to get him back into the mix with you taking something away from him that he's worked his entire career to get. 14 years in WWE, 14 plus years probably in WWE, finally got a solo win solo title win only to be taken away because of the interference of the new bloodline that is literally what it is i know some people don't like the fact that they use him winning that championship was more of a storyline bridge to get to an another feud i get that it has happened in wrestling before but you understand you can understand that this wasn't going to be long long term even if braun breaker wasn't the guy to the defeat him relatively soon he was gonna lose that title before we got to survivor series bro that i i think a lot of us kind of knew it, it of course cool idea to have maybe jay be the only one of the og bloodline to have the titles but no i think this the, the story there is to finally get jay to come over not because oh he's happy to be with roman and jimmy again no because the new bloodline screwed him over and eventually they will get on the same page eventually they will work out their differences and that's the payoff the payoff of jimmy and jay hugging working out their differences and then finally the biggest payoff the payoff that we've been wanting to see for a very long time is roman and jay embracing each other that's the biggest payoff right there you don't get that yes you can get that payoff if you have jay hold the title for a little bit longer but at the end of the day this is the best way to slow cook the build of why jay is finally aligning with the og bloodline it's a slow cook because let's put this in uh you know let's give an example here Say Jay does hold it to like maybe a few weeks before Survivor Series. That means it's a few weeks you got to essentially Jay loses. Then he's going to, you know, within a couple weeks side with Jimmy and side with Roman. When you can take your time built towards that, you have more weeks to take your time to tease that. That's what it's about to tease the idea of them working together for the first time in a very long time. So that's why I get why people are upset, but I also understand why it happened the way it did. I wasn't surprised that he lost. I wasn't even disappointed that he lost because we knew WWE gave him a bone. They gave him that moment. And then that was it. The bigger story is what's going to happen between the OG bloodline and the new bloodline. Now, hey, you're entitled to your opinion. I, you know, I'm, I'm not here to tell you you're wrong or right. I'm just telling you from a story standpoint, it seems that was the most logical way they wanted to go about it, where they can still tease the idea, milk the story as long as possible before we get to Survivor Series. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, the goal is to have the OG bloodline versus the new bloodline feud. And that's really what it is. So comment down below. Let me know. How do y'all feel? about jay no longer being the intercontinental champion uh did you guys really uh i guess you can say did it bother you that he ended up dropping the title so soon or did it not bother you at all you kind of understood where they were going with the story and more or less you're on board with how things are probably going to play out going forward y'all let me know down below but i appreciate all love support road to 150k appreciate y'all getting to me see you on the next one peace